In this video, we talk about the local small businesses in San Diego that I'm supporting throughout the stay at home order next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Now today, this is the 29th video in 29 days. And finally, we're doing a video that's just gonna be all here at home since technically San Diego is under a stay at home order. I wanna talk about supporting local businesses around San Diego and ways that I've been supporting local businesses throughout the stay at home order. The first small local business that I'd like to talk about is Meal Prep Sunday San Diego. Now Meal Prep Sunday San Diego is a food delivery service that makes pre-packaged meals out of fresh organic food. Let's head to the front door and see if my Meal Prep Sunday San Diego package has arrived. All right, Jaycationers, so I just got my meal prep Sunday San Diego. We're gonna try it out over the next five days. So let's fast forward to JJ trying out meal number one. We're gonna try the steak, broccoli, and mixed vegetables. It tells you the day and the meal. Look, it says lunch for Tuesday. Reheat two to four minutes. Four minutes later. All right, Jake, let's, just, let's try our first meal. It looks like it's beef mixed with this brown sauce with some rice, some carrots, and a ton of broccoli. And a lot of people don't like broccoli, but I love broccoli. Mmm, this is tasty. I like the sauce. Beef is good. Of course, I could add a little hot sauce to it. It's really good, especially if you're trying to count what you're eating and take track of what you're eating because it has all that stuff on that meal itself. So here it has 42 grams of protein, 32 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat, 413 calories total. And you definitely want to add the sauce onto the beef to keep it juicy. What's really cool about Meal Prep Sunday San Diego is they deliver their meals after they prepare the food and then they have a driver drop it off. If you're not at home at the time, they give you this nice little bag that's really insulated. You get your five meals and they have these reusable ice packs to keep your meals cold while it's sitting out on your front porch inside this bag right here. Now they do have like what you want to eat for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but I just kind of went with what I was craving for the day. All right, today we're going to try the beef stroganoff and it's also got penne pasta and green peas. Day number two, we're trying out the beef stroganoff with the penne pasta and the green peas. I'm gonna mix it up, mix the penne pasta with the stroganoff. Got some mushrooms in here. I love stroganoff. This is good stuff. Cheers. Oh yeah, this is good. Already prepared. Try some of the peas. Now this has 49 grams of protein, 47 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat, 568 calories. Definitely give the beef stroganoff two thumbs up. That was really good. That's my favorite so far. Three more to go. If you've been watching the channel over the last nine months, you've noticed that I've been supporting many of these local businesses simply just by going out and featuring them on my video. With these small businesses struggling and not getting the income that they're usually getting, there are other ways that I'm trying to help them out a bit, whether it's tipping a couple more dollars or when I do go to places like Harlan Brewing, I pick up one of these glasses along with a four pack of beer. Just adding on a little something here and there. I also got this shirt, this Harlan Brewing shirt. It's kind of like uh, their Ube themed shirt. I haven't even worn it yet. Another great place that I love going to is Mostra Coffee, which is over at Carmel Mountain and Forest Ranch. I haven't even featured it yet on Jaycation. If you're over there, maybe pick up a couple of uh, blends of coffee. This is their Vietnam Lotus and their VIP blend, and they have actually some really unique Filipino style drinks over at Mostra and they have great decorations and the owners and workers over at Mostra are super nice. Another local place that I go to is Cutwater Spirits. I finished this white Russian drink with the quickness. I've picked up at least four, four packs 
over the last couple months since this white Russian flavor came out. Another place I'd like to mention is Lorna's over in University City. I love their tagliatelle bolognese and their UC special pizza. They actually now sell their tagliatelle bolognese sauce in a jar for like 20 bucks. I've also supported Ballast Point. I picked up koozies, stickers along with the beers that I've bought over there and a couple of Padres Ballast Point collaboration shirts. Other small businesses around San Diego that I want to feature soon even more is Bona Forqueta and Bruno Napolitano, which is over in University Heights. And with the influx of Mexican food California burrito videos and my Filipino food around Mira Mesa video, I've been trying to support those businesses as well. So hopefully you guys can check out those two videos in the description box below. Now, although you've seen me out and about get grabbing these things, you've seen me take it home and eat most of the time because there's no outdoor dining or no indoor dining. And even though I am out during the stay at home order, I'm at home a majority of the time. So meal prep Sunday San Diego actually came at the perfect time because it came right at the stay at home order when you couldn't really go out much and it served as a great lunch for an entire week. So we're trying the chicken thigh. It's a shredded chicken thigh with three beans and mixed vegetables. It's got 49 grams of protein, 42 grams of carbs, 26 grams of fat, total of 598 calories. So let's dig into it. Three beans, corn, the chicken is shredded. That's tasty. It almost tastes like a, a bowl of chili, but it's not a chili soup. You also got the cornbread here. That's some good cornbread. So day three of meal prep Sunday, success. First meal, it looks like it's beef mixed with this. So you guys usually don't see this back end of the editing. What I do during the stay at home order in San Diego, well, sit in front of this computer a lot, edit, a bunch of these videos you know 31 videos in 31 days that's a lot of videos so I've been sitting right here on my chair editing away I use Final Cut Pro X and I've also been finding ways to improve I've been looking for better lower thirds trying to find a animated map I can use and also I just got this thing called story blocks that have professional stock video that just makes these videos pop a little more another thing I enjoy doing during my spare time is sitting down and watching YouTube videos. I'm into a variety of different channels. Here Be Bar is one of my close buddies on YouTube, so I watch him every time he gets a video out. So shout out to John Barr. I've also really been into a lot of Las Vegas videos lately. Turn It Up World and Pompsy. Those are two up and coming Las Vegas vloggers that I do enjoy watching. So I usually just spend a lot of my day laying down in bed, even though I need to get out and walk more and watching these YouTube videos. I also check out a lot of Disney YouTubers like Prince Charming Dev, or I'm sorry, PCD Dev, Best Life and Beyond, and Adam the Woo. Those are other YouTubers that do Disney content. And I'm also getting into a lot of live stream videos. So Action Kid in New York City is really awesome. As you guys can tell, I've been doing live streams once a week ever since I got my new iPhone 12 Pro Max and I'm going to continue that trend once a week. Another thing I've been doing during the stay at home order is bothering this guy every day. Bang the ass. Day four of meal prep Sunday. On a Sunday, we're trying the salmon and the green beans and the rice. Salmon, brown rice, green beans, 41 grams of protein. 33 grams of carbs, 25 grams of fat, 521 calories total. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm, nice and hot. I'm gonna throw a little bit of tapatio on this. Nice and uh, juicy salmon. This is a pretty impressive lunch right here. I dig it. Brown rice got a little cilantro y feel to it. Green beans are actually tasty with this uh, green sauce that they have on the side. Mm -hmm. Salmon, definitely my second favorite meal of the week. Now we got one more to go. Also, since this is technically my stay at home vlog here in uh, December of Vlogmas, I wanted to show you guys my Christmas decorations, me and my mother and father's Christmas decorations. Check it out. So this is the Christmas village that we've collected through the years. We have a bunch of Santas that my mom loves. There's our tree and our angel. This is also along the lines of supporting small business because this place I just discovered, it's called City Lights and it's in Morena Boulevard. 
and it's a year-around Christmas holiday store and I picked up this carnival ride for 25 bucks now it doesn't work that's why it was only 25 bucks but I got these lights at Michael's for 3.99 to decorate around it for Christmas I got my parents this Ferris wheel because that's what was missing in this village so I got this Ferris wheel over at City Lights Mom also got these snowmen on Madi's keyboard with a bunch of teddy bears around the organs, stocking stuffers, and Mickey Santa hats all around with this nice wreath on the door. And of course you got poinsettias. And mom added some of that mistletoe here at the archway. And it's funny because I never noticed this, but I guess they had this up since end of November. <laughs> But I didn't know that they had this garland with ornaments here in the fireplace with the TV. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And they got snowmen. Got that Mickey hat over at Downtown Disney. And a few reindeer. And this guy is my worst nightmare. He startles me in the middle of the night. All right, Jaycationers, fifth and final meal from Meal Prep Sunday San Diego is chicken, Yukon potato, asparagus. It has 48 grams of protein, 20 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fat, and it's only 297 calories. I was supposed to eat this on a Monday. Well, I am eating it on a Monday, but a week later. Let's try out the potatoes. Mmm. Pretty good, and then it looks like there's a mustard sauce here. You already know I'm gonna put the Mexican pep on here. Chicken is seasoned well. I do like that mustard. Try a little potatoes. All right, let's try some of this asparagus. It's kind of tucked in below the uh, chicken here. I like it. All in all, the five meals that I tried were definitely all different and had a uniqueness to it. It's not like you're having the same thing every day. You don't have to leave the house. They deliver it right to your door in a nice insulated bag with a couple packs of ice. So if you're not at home, it stays cool at your front doorstep. But obviously I put it into the fridge right when I got it. If you're doing stuff like calorie counting and trying to watch your weight, it's also a great thing to check out because it has all the numbers for you to where you can log this into your diet. All in all, two thumbs up. Make sure you're supporting small businesses around the town you live in. Meal Prep Sunday San Diego is a San Diego small business that I want to be supporting through this time. So check them out in the description box below. Hopefully you're supporting your small local businesses wherever in the world you may be that are struggling throughout the pandemic. Every little bit helps whether you're picking up a pint glass along with your four pack of beer or maybe a little t-shirt from your favorite brewery. Just little things like that help out these small businesses and hopefully we're back to thriving in 2021. Now I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of what I do here at home during the stay at home order when I'm not out and about showing you guys San Diego. And yeah, if you wanna see more content in 2021 like this, please comment below. I'd love to hear more suggestions of places you wanna see, things you want me to talk about, subjects that we should explore. And special thanks to Meal Prep Sunday San Diego for sending me over that week's worth of meal. I really appreciate that. I'm leaving them in the description box below. If you're discovering my channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get updates on my newest videos and when I do live streams in and around San Diego or wherever in the world I may be. Also hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps out this video. If you want to check out my Patreon and support me in the year 2021 when I'm able to travel again, check that out. I have special offers and exclusives over on Patreon. I really appreciate you guys. I'll also have a special video coming out for my patrons pretty soon on Patreon. All right, JKationers, video 29 to 31 is finished. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Uh, uh.